my lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We are currently sat outside of Derby Station because, if you recall at the end of the last episode, one thing I touched upon that I wanted to address in this episode was the Western Main Line, which is overcrowded and not keeping up with demand at Derby, as well as Derby's public transport system within the city which is also no longer fit for purpose as Derby has expanded quite heavily since it was first put in and again the buses are no longer keeping up or providing full coverage for the city of Derby so we need to look at both of those things as I said I did keep things running in the background with the date paused and I have unpaused it and I've returned to one time speed so we're just ticking into 1937 now. We have 400 million pounds in the bank, which is plenty. So we have enough to do what we need to do here. So first thing we'll do is we shall tackle the Western Main Line. Before we do that, I want to check the state of the Western Main Line at the other cities on the line, which are Macclesfield and Ulverston and check how many people are waiting for the service here. Not many. I imagine it's going to be a similar story at Ulverston. Let's have a quick look now. Yes, not a great deal. So it is people waiting at Derby, which is the main issue. So what we don't want to do is oversaturate the line too much because it's only the one station that is experiencing the issues. Where they all headed to, it's pretty much a 50-50 split. Not that that really makes much difference to what we need to do, but I wanted to check regardless. So here's one of our Western Mainline trains now. It is a profitable service by and large, so that's good. So let's go ahead and manage the vehicle. We do have four trains on the Western Mainline, so we'll edit them all and we'll have a look at what we want to do. At the moment you are still running with a Russian class S locomotive so the first thing we could do is swap that out. Shall we go for a Pioneer Zephyr perhaps? Maybe although there is a few inclines and gradient changes on the Western Mainline tracks and the reduced power or the small amount of available power and tractive effort for the Pioneer Zephyr may see it struggle so let's have a good look at what we want to incorporate instead now we did unlock the PRR class CG1 locomotive in the last episode that's an over electric train but it is very expensive to run at 2.2 million per year so probably don't want to be looking at that one we could go for the class A4 the Mallard which is a fairly powerful train and it has a decent speed as well or we could look at the class SU we don't want to use the class 9000 because that is clearly a freight train and it would look odd pulling passenger wagons I believe we could try the AE47 it's not too expensive just under 1.5 million per year to run however it is quite limited in its speed but it has got a fair whack of power Let's see what sort, well, already it would be slower because the current trains do 71 miles an hour. This one only tops out at 62. Perhaps a Flying Scotsman, that is 1 million per year. Runs at 75 miles an hour, so it would be a speed increase. Definitely don't want the MILW, that's not warranted here. And everything else, I believe, is quite slow, yes. So at the minute we're paying 500,000, so half a million a year, so that's what we're gauging it against when we decide what train we're going to swap him out for. So that would add an extra million to the running cost if we went for the A47. That would only be an extra 200,000 and it would keep the same sort of speed, 71 miles per hour. So that's worth considering, the class SU, let's have a look at that. More powerful as well, so it would get up to its top speed a lot faster. However, what we could also do is swap out the carriages that he's currently running. He's using the Great Western Railway top light coaches. So if we just get those ones on our list. So they carry 16 and run at 200,000 per year. 
The heavyweight parlor runs 19, higher speed, but is more expensive. What about the bow end coaches? I can't see because it runs off the speed. They are faster, carry less with just 10. And they are cheaper, however, so that's something to bear in mind. Oh, we have the streamlined coach. I think we'll go for the streamlined. So if we kind of keep the same sort of capacity, in fact, we could probably extend it. Perhaps to 108. Maybe not so much. Maybe to 90. 71, 71 and 41. So it is faster and it is hitting its top speeds in pretty much the same sort of ballpark area. So shall we swap him out for the Class SU and use the Streamlined Coaches New Mexico and see what sort... Well, it's not going to have much effect, is it? Because the difference is quite negligible. The only difference really is the increased capacity that we have. What I might do is go to 72, so it increases the capacity and the speeds, but instead of adding extra trains or trying to alleviate the problems by adding more coaches or trains on the service, could do instead is, where's the class issue? That's what we're running here, yep. Yes, what we could do instead is like we did with Haywood and Petersfield, is have a road system between Macclesfield, Ulverston and Derby and encourage people to use that transportation system instead. But while we're here, these trains do need upgrading, let's be honest, so let's do it regardless. We'll colour them in green, which is the colour of the Western Main Line, and we'll set their maintenance to very high because they do get quite close to some residential areas now that these cities expanded. So we'll, first of all, before we contemplate putting in a road connection between the three cities and having some sort of express tram service run, what we'll do first of all, like I said, is look at Derby's public transport system. As we can see, bus service number two is overwhelmed. And it's I guess it's going to be people heading to the station. Let's have a look. Yes, they're all heading to the Derby station interchange. So what we could do instead is put a tram system in. So to do that, we are going to need to add an extra passenger platform at Derby Station Interchange. And we'll just have one metro system for this. Which So they try, they run on the right-hand side, so they'd be coming this way and then out this way, okay? Just so I can get my bearings and where I want to put the tram stations, uh, the tram stops within the city itself. So I think if we come out this way... And then we'll head down here. This is going to remove some buildings because some of these roads are small capacity and they are being changed to higher capacity. But that is unfortunately unavoidable. We do need to have better roads through Derby. It's going to improve traffic flow as well. So it is a win-win sort of situation. And then you can come down perhaps through this residential area. Why is construction not possible there? Is it the yeah, it's the junction, so instead we can come this way and then back on ourselves somewhat, like that. A little inefficient, but it'll do what we need it to do, which is the main thing. And then can you Yes, that's fully electrified there on that loop. Yeah, that'll work for me. So let's get the bus tram stops in along this new line. So we start here. We'll have one there. We'll have one at this area here. I don't want to have too many frequent stops on the tram service. I prefer to space them out so they can get up to their speeds a little bit easier. However, with the buses, I don't mind if they are a little bit stop-start. That'll do. Let's set up the line for this new tram system we've just provided with Derby. Provided to Derby, I should say. There we go, what colour do we want to have it? We'll have it a grey colour, why not? Something a bit different, and it keeps it easily distinguishable from the current lines that we have in the city as well. And this is Metro 01 for Derby, so we'll name him up, get a tram depot, and then we can assign a tram to this line. Where do we want the tram depot? We could have it, say, here, and then extend the tram line just down to the depot. Don't want to destroy those buildings if I can avoid it, and I can. So 
So yes, let's upgrade these now so the trams can actually get onto the line we've just put in. And we'll use a type T1 and we will have, I think we'll go for six initially. We can add more later if it doesn't keep up, but hopefully six should be enough. Colour them grey and send them on their way. Here they come. We'll have a quick look at them as they leave the depot. They're the very boxy ones that we looked at in Coventry previously. Don't really have much to say about the colour scheme. It's not the best, but it is what it is. It keeps them easily identifiable, which is the main thing. Now, do we also need a, another bus service for Derby as well? One that doesn't go to the station because we don't really have much platform space here to keep it nice and tidy. Because none of this area out here is likely to be covered. Although, I think these tram stops will provide decent enough coverage, to be honest. Yes, I think for now we are okay. The, some of the residents and the workers, if they're in the industrial zone... We'll have a bit of a walk to get to the trams, but that's okay. And we do have overlap between the bus stops and the tram stops, so they can get off the bus and walk to the nearest tram stop, although that one's a bit far away, but that's... It is what it is, it'll do. Now, do we also want to put in a intercity tram system between Derby and Macclesfield? It's probably worthwhile, if I'm honest. It seems to have served as well at Hayward and Petersfield. And it's also done a decent job at Ulverston, although that was a bus system, not a tram system. I'm just looking now in Macclesfield, where would be a nice place to have a passenger exchange. I'd like to avoid demolishing too much of Macclesfield if possible, because we've done a lot of city demolishing in the past couple of episodes when we've been upgrading the roads. So don't want to do it all the time. However, it might be somewhat unavoidable and we may just have to bite the bullet and do it anyway because it will help future-proof the city of Macclesfield as well. So yes, let's go ahead and just bite the bullet and get it done. We'll have it electrified, so I'm thinking it comes down here and this now will form our main street. And if we then come this way, obviously it's costing a fair amount of money to accomplish this, but it is what it is, and sometimes you just have to, as I said, bite the bullet and get on with it. And then we can have an interchange somewhere around here, where would be the best place for it, perhaps in this area here, demolish these buildings in this, uh, this block and have it in this area. So to that end, we will need electrified lines just surrounding this. So the trams can go in and out. Yes. So we've gone as far as here. So now what we want to do is this country road that we have linking Macclesfield and Derby. Probably a worthwhile venture to upgrade this as well to a large capacity road with a tram line on it. So we'll do that nice and quickly. We can do quite a lot at once if we zoom out like this. And then where are we going to have an interchange in here? I think if we have it in this section here, then what the trams can do as they come up this way, they can go to this stop, into the interchange, and then out this way. That's probably not the worst idea in the world, if I do say so myself, so we'll do that. So you've come as far as here, and then you want to carry on this way. We said we're going to have it here, so this needs to be electrified, and we'll electrify around the block as well, like we did in Macclesfield. And then we'll pause the game now, while we demolish and construct our passenger station here in this little area. Actually, it's going to cost a large amount of money to get rid of all these buildings, but as always, they will build back better and stronger, so to speak. So it's all good in the long run. Let's get the bus tram station. I think we'll go big straight off the bat just so it's future proofed although i think we're gonna oh no we can get it in just there we could squeeze it in yeah that'll do nicely configure this to give them street access out the ways okay that's unfortunate it's now saying this is it quite a slopey 
Oh, it is, isn't it? Okay, so let's just get rid of it. Get rid of that, what we just put in. And we'll do a bit of terraforming. And try that again. Yeah, it, it is quite a slope there, to be fair. So, I didn't notice that first time around, which is a shame. I should have probably paid attention. There we go. Let's just smooth it all out. And that should get rid of that problem second time around. Yes, that looks better. So we'll go for the same sort of setup. If we could just squeeze it in nicely. Again, it's going to be quite sloped down. Oh, that's, no, that's too much slope. This is, maybe if we just take it back to, there we go. That seems a little bit better. And then we can, if we put it there, that should give us enough room. Oh, that's still quite dropped down, is it? It's still quite a drop there. We'll see if it works anyway. No. We could do it there. But I'm not too happy with that slope. Because that just looks ridiculous, if I'm honest. So let's try that again. So which way? So the lay of the land goes down this way. Ah. Perhaps it would work if we rotate it. Can we get him in? So we're... Conflicting with that junction there. This is a bit finagly. Uh, could we get rid of that road, perhaps? Not really, no. Oh, uh, that's the depot where... About if we put it there. I suppose that doesn't look too bad, I don't think. But I'm also conscious of the slope on the other side. How close can we get it? Come on, come on, come on. Try that, and then try configuring the exit now. No. That's rather fr frustrating, if I'm honest. Okay, so we're going to have to abandon that idea, I believe. That's not going to work for us, which is a bit of a shame. Could we instead have it here? What if... Okay, I've got an idea. We'll get rid of this road get rid of all these buildings here so it's going to cost us a lot more money to do this than I originally hoped for but never mind we'll quickly upgrade this little street here like that and then these ones here and then what the tram can do we can get rid of this stop here at George Street and have it run from here into here and then out on its way as before and then what we can do get there what am I looking for yes yeah, sorry Plus, that's it. That's what I'm looking for. We could probably go back to a large station. We could put it, say, there. Yes, that's nice and straight. And then configure it and have him exit this way instead. It's probably worth just expanding these a little. Just by... Oh, we can only get in by one. There we go. And then connecting this road into there. And then that should do what we need it to do. So we'll go for streets. Oh, no, we don't want to upgrade. We want to lay in a new street. Yes, perfect. So we got there in the end, which is great. So first of all, let's modify the metro line. So after Springfield Road, we'd like you to... In fact, we'll keep George Street in as well. However... Oh, I've put it in the wrong place. That's why it's gone weird. Yes, so you're coming from Springfield Road into Upper Derby, which is going to be renamed shortly. However, we go for a different platform, please. Say platform six, and I'd like you to leave this way. Don't know why. Oh, is that ah, is that road not electrified? No, it isn't. Okay, that's why it's going that way. Okay, so let's electrify that little bit there, and then it should. Yes, it's rerouted itself nicely. Perfect. That'll do. Let's quickly just rename this. Uh, Derby. We'll call it Derby Central. It is quite central to the town. Derby Central Exchange. There we go. We have the connection out onto the road towards Macclesfield. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And we said we're going to put the Macclesfield one. I think it was in this block here. Is it flat? Just check before we... Uh, or shall we go into this one here? No, we'll go. We'll go for the 
the one I originally said, I think. So again, going to cost a small fortune, unfortunately, but it is what it is and there's no avoiding it. And if it works the way I want it to do, it should look quite nice. Are we going to be able to fit a six platform one in here? Not likely, so we'll go for a four platform. We'll put him, try and get him somewhat central like that. Give him the exit on the other side. He connects him first time. Absolutely wonderful. And then, oh, it's already called it Macclesfield Exchange. Thank you very much, Transport Fever. Yes, excellent. That's what I wanted. And this will just be a simple two-stop intercity service with no stops around town. It'll just go straight from one to the other. You're coming that... Would it be... Oh, that's not... Yeah, there's no tram... No, there must be a tram line there. No, there's not. Okay. So instead, he's going to then loop back out this way and double back on himself. That's okay. That won't look too bad, I don't think. Just check in Derby if he's done a nice little route for himself. Yeah, it's nice enough. Does this tram depot have access? Yeah, they'd have to come all the way around here, but he will be able to get in. Excellent. So this will be Intercity Tram. And that is Derby Macclesfield. There we go. Yes, I'm happy enough with that. We'll get some of the Type T1 boxes. And we'll go for, I think, we'll go for eight. It is a bit of a journey between the two. Obviously, you do want maintenance to be cranked up high. And you're a light lime sort of green colour. They have access. There's been no complaints yet. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll keep an eye on that and see if that has a decent effect on eating into the amount of passengers that we have waiting to get on the Western Main Line. And we'll see if instead they opt to take the Intercity Express. Obviously, some of them were heading to Ulverston. But if we can, say, get rid of half-ish of the numbers going to Macclesfield, it will keep them out of people at Derby a little bit more manageable. So, yes, I'm happy enough with that. So while we're at this area of the map, let's go and have a look at Macclesfield. As we can see, the bus service we set up is no longer providing good enough coverage for the city of Macclesfield, so we probably want to go ahead and put a new bus line in here as well. This will not go out to the station, however, it will go through here, and we'll also reroute the existing bus in Macclesfield to also come through here, so they can change here and head to the station if they so wish. So we'll do that now, and we'll do a twin loop system, like we tend to do these days. So we'll get these stations put in, make sure we have a nice blanket coverage, and then you can... In fact, you can share that stuff. I don't mind that. Yeah. I have that shared. And then you can come up this way. Oh, no. We need to make sure he goes. Oh, no. No, that's no, fine. We can get him through the exchange a little later on. Get that little suburb up there covered. Yes. Down this away. And then you can go down there. This is probably the longest bus route I've ever put in. And then you want to head... Shall we head... Mm, I'm conscious that we've got to get into here as well. What if we head down here, along this little bit, into there, out this way? I'm probably going to get really confused when I set this line up as to what line, uh, what station should be next, but we'll give it a go. That should, hopefully, work and not be too bad. So we went this way and then this way, all the way out here. A line share there or a stop share there I should say and then you came this way and then down here and then you came did we send you this way see I knew it had happened yes we did and then into there and then out this way and then there yes we'll change that color we'll have it orange although that we do have the food is it food delivery coming up this way that is orange? I think it is, so that's going to confuse me if I don't have different colours. So we'll have it purple. Yes, that's a clear difference to the existing purple that we have on our bus line, so that's okay. So you do loop around yourself a little bit there, but that's not the end of the world. I can live with it. 
and then we want to do a second one go in the opposite direction and this one can be black there we go so they should both have 19 stops yes they do that's excellent so we'll get them named up this is 02 we already have one in Macclesfield that goes out to the station that's bus service 2 and this is bus service 3 there we go we have a bus stop or a tram a vehicle depot call it what it is please here already I'm gonna say we need a lot of buses here because there's a lot of stops in fact I'm gonna say we go for 12 per line yeah why not as I said there are a lot of stops on this service so you do want a fair amount of vehicles running it we'll select the first 12 uh, we had what was it this purple I think it's close enough bus service 2 the rest are black and it's bus service 1 3 sorry there we go there we go and I did select the wrong purple so I'll quickly manage them there we go now because they are oh I need to change this bus route as well bus service no it wasn't that one that one bus service 01 you need to utilize this interchange as well so if after Queen's Road you come in here and then carry on to North Road a bit counterproductive because they're so close by to each other but we'll uh, we'll do it anyway so what did we say after Queen's Road come in here and then carry out on carry on your journey again we're crossing over ourselves a bit excessively there but we can I think actually sort that out with a few waypoints I've seen a solution I think it should work just to make sure I'm gonna saturate this area with waypoints they are post boxes so they do blend in they don't look ridiculous having them everywhere although having this many post boxes in such a small area perhaps is a little bit silly okay so after there you're then heading this way so if we after Mans Macclesfield Exchange send you to that waypoint you no longer loop around in the exchange perfect Bus service 02, you are looping to head that way. So instead, if you come out this way, after the exchange, where are you? Yep. Go that way. Yes, that's good. Bus service 3, you're heading that way. So if after the, ex where are you? Where's Macclesfield exchange there? You hit that waypoint. Yes. And then the intercity tram, you're hitting that platform and then you want to be heading back this way. So, if you go to that waypoint, yes, a bit of crossing over there, but that's okay. It keeps things free flowing in the exchange itself, which is the main point of it all. There we go. We'll see what sort of uptake that has and whether or not it's going to, like I said, get people off of the train service and onto the tram service instead. It's not going to make as much money for us, I don't think, but I can live with that. If it keeps things free flowing and it gets more people moving, then there's an argument to be made that overall, rather than waiting on the platform not giving us any money, they're giving us some money on a different service, and those who do go on the train can get on the train that little bit faster, if that makes sense. In my head, it does. Whether I've explained it clearly or not is a different matter. We shall see. Okay, let's have a look at how we're doing in Derby. Do we, could we, so you're coming, is this electrified? Yes, all this is electrified. So what we could do is instead of having you loop in there, we could put a waypoint down here and then you'll then come this way in to the central exchange. Not a bad idea. What, should we, should we have a, something different other than a post box for a change? Yeah, let's go for, we've got speed limit signs. Let's have an urban clearway sign. There we go. How does that look? Not too bad. Yes, that's better. I would prefer it if our food delivery trucks didn't opt to use this as a pass-through. So to avoid that, we can send them down this way again with another waypoint. What should we use this time? Oh, we could use the, the tram. Yeah, we'll use the tram road sign so people know there's a tram here. That'll do. So let's get the line up. It's food delivery. 
clicky clicky click I'm not sure why it does that but it is annoying so after Queensway if you come this way please there you go you're no longer going to be passing through there which could cause some delays or a bit of traffic congestion plus this is higher speed road as well for you this is quite slow so oh what do we have another electric train the BRE 94 and the Gaz MM trucks are they an improvement on the Opal Blitzers we can have a quick look here we'll pick on you swap you out cargo so you are running the dump truck at the moment because you're carrying grain 37 miles an hour carries 14 not even close however we can take a look at the electric train and see if we can swap our Coventry mainline trains which currently run the MILWs for something different so let's we'll just select two of them and we'll have a look at electric trains so at the minute you're using that which costs two million per year that's it costs more to run but it, it could be faster okay so that's somebody at the door there so I apologize for the jump cut what was I saying yes this is faster I think yes a lot faster and for an extra 200,000 it might be worthwhile running the PRR class CG1s instead yes we'll go for that we'll swap our trains for the PIR class CG1 so now we do want to select all of them to get them all swapped out there we go and we'll just quickly go through upgrade all of our mainline trains or upgrade the locomotives at least to the newly unlocked well it's not newly unlocked we've had it for a couple of years now to these better superior faster trains Obviously, the more speed you have on your passenger lines, the better it is. 90 million, we can afford it, so we'll go ahead and do it. The maintenance is already set to very high. And we can have a quick look at them. We'll ignore the uh, flickering light. Looks quite nice. Quite pleased with how he looks. Just get up a little bit higher smash ourselves through the foot of that bridge there and hopefully he'll be able to open up and get a bit more speed between the stations than the MILWs were capable of there goes one of our sister trains just passing by now going under the flyover to Derby there that we put in a few episodes ago Yes. Oh, seeing a few planes in the sky just prompted me or reminded me that we also unlocked the Douglas, was it the Douglas DC-7 a few episodes ago? Is it worth swapping our planes for the Douglas DC-7s? Let's have a look. At the minute you have the, the Junkers, uh, just passenger only please, which is 124 miles per hour and carries 10 and costs just under 200,000. This costs an extra 100,000, carries the same, but is faster by about 80 miles an hour, 82 miles an hour, I think. Is that worthwhile? Um, how profitable are these lines? Quite profitable, but then again, some, it has dropped off in recent years, which is interesting. How about this one? I th mm, I'm going to swap them out anyway, just because we have them, so we may as well. So we select both of the airliners 20 million again we can absorb that cost so that's not a problem let's go ahead and take a quick look at the Douglas that play and it may have been in fact a Douglas that I'm thinking of but what that puts me in a mind of is the montage scenes in Indiana Jones when he was traveling around the world and it had like the map overlay interspersed with footage footage of some sort of plane flying around and it looked similar to this perhaps it was the Douglas that they used if so that explains that if not it just looks similar to my memory although I could be completely wrong what are you waiting for we have a plane coming to land is it possible 
to add a second runway to an airport in this game. I've never tried. RA, is that runway? I don't know. I mean, we can add other terminals as we know, but it doesn't look like we can add new runways. Perhaps that's something you can do later on. I'll keep an eye on that. Now, these planes are quite, this airline's quite busy. Sorry, this air route, airspace, that's what, that's what I'm looking for. The airspace is quite busy. And it's preventing our planes from taking off. Why are you do Weren't you just coming into land? I don't know what he's playing at, but he's done it. We have enough one. Yeah. I think we have too many aircraft. So I'm going to. We've already reduced the numbers on the Stoke run. So let's sell half of the ones we have on the Quintrill Downs run as well. Sell them all. We'll just sell one of the Stoke ones as well and we'll have. 10 total and that should get them off the airport a little bit faster rather than taking up all the taxiway space as they were at the minute. He looks like he's just crashing. Should we watch him coming to land for a bit of a bit of a scenic view? Oh my, that looks amazing I must say. Very impressed with that. Can we see any? Oh we can see Bridgewater just in the clouds. In, not in the clouds. <laughs> It's not a floating city. In the distance, that if you glimpsed it, we can see Bridport there behind us through the through the valley. Ah, uh, yeah, happy with that. Okay, let's let that autosave clear off. Okay, so that's a, another upgrade modernisation performed. Gillingham Station is very busy. It's everybody going to Derby. I think, let's have a look, watch what coaches are you running? I think we swap this train out, so it's uh, for the PIR, PIR, PRR, PIR class CG1, and the Streamline Coach New Mexico to really get this speed bumped up. And to do that, we can afford it, we've got 300 million. Rather than do an individual, you know, upgrade of each train, I'll just replace all like this and you want passenger wagons streamline new mexico i think it was about 114 capacity so if we go to 126 that'll do for me the, although that is faster it's faster but more expensive but it does carry one extra but that's got low emissions we'll go with the heavyweight we'll keep with the heavyweight parlor then 114 capacity is what he had could he go for one more? Yes. And it still keeps decent speed. So it'll cost 108 million to do that. So we'll get it done. Crank the maintenance up now and we'll colour him in. And hopefully the increased speed will see him get in between the stations faster so we can get some of these people shifted and onto their onward journeys. Okay, nothing else is immediately jumping out and catching my eye at the moment. I think we are pretty good. And I also think this is probably a decent enough point to end this episode. We'll end it sat outside of our little interchange that we built in Derby. Just get a higher view. In fact, we'll go the other way so we can see the skyline as well. Yeah, there we go. Hide the UI to make it more cinematic and we can't see all the icons. There we go. That's quite nice. Yes. I think that's a good place to end the episode, as I said. Hopefully the issues we had on the Western Main Line in terms of overcrowding at Derby have been alleviated just by adding in this intercity metro service between Derby and Macclesfield, but time will tell whether that's the case or not. Other than that, I what else did we do? Yes, we upgraded our mainline trains. That was quite important, didn't we? We got the PIR, P, I keep saying it, PIR, PRR class CG1, I think, memory. Got no memory, can't remember. But we've upgraded them to a faster train anyway, so they're now able to push around about 90 miles an hour, as opposed to that old speed limited 75 miles per hour, which should help increase their profit margins, as well as getting people off the platforms a little faster than before. And we've also done tweaks to both Derby and Macclesfield's public transport system by adding extra bus lines, and we also put in an intracity tram for Derby as well, 
one of them has just run over a gentleman there who was crossing the road at our passenger exchange. At the moment, it's not too busy. As we can see, there's not many Sims waiting for a tram or a bus. Maybe in time that will change and the pickup will soon develop. But yes, all that remains for me to say now, ladies and gentlemen, is, as always, you take care of yourselves. Ta-ta for now.